I would say probably one of the, the biggest things implementing uh, robotics in, in baking uh, has to do with, uh, you know, all the real, real world variables that you can't control. So one field uh, uh, within the food and processing industry where we have this new wave of robots, um, it is one field where a lot of people wouldn't think of, and it's basically producing bakery stuff, you know, from the bagels to the bread to other type of uh, sweeties and, and so on. What's happening there? Why, for what reasons people are starting thinking of robots in this uh, specific area? Large enterprises, uh, you know, have always been automated with, uh, you know, really specific, uh, you know, automation lines. I wouldn't really call them multi-purpose. They'll do one thing. Whereas like smaller to medium-sized bakeries have typically not been automated. Uh, you know, mostly do th things like the, uh, you know, the cost and, you know, the lack of technical know-how for, you know, maintaining robotics products. But um, due to a lot of advances, like these types of things are starting to come down in price. And so they're, they're being made accessible to smaller and medium-sized businesses. So basically for our audience, we're looking at a mom and pop shop that now has the robot, or, or we're looking at, uh, uh, let's say, a medium-sized bakery that maybe has 20, 30 employees. What's the, the challenge in having robots for this type of industry? I'd say probably one of the, the biggest things implementing uh, robotics in, in baking uh, has to do with, uh, you know, all the real, real world variables that you can't control. Like uh, if you're training a robot to grab baking trays that are coming off of a conveyor, put it into a baking rack, which is a very common application. You know, the customer could have anywhere from, you know, one to four different types of trays in their system and they, they won't know it until a robot that needs a little more perfection, uh, it, you know, comes and tries to, you know, work with a product that thinks it isn't changing. Um, same with most bakery equipment, like uh, it's an industry that is very hard on equipment. Like there's a lot of wear and, you know, with wear comes, comes change and, you know, robotic systems don't really like that. So how is, if in any way, AI contributing to make these things possible in a bakery, basically? I have seen AI work its way into some of these automation systems that are available to us. Like, for example, starting to see um, AI-based machine vision cameras um, that are available uh, to robotics integrators that you can buy and you can assemble your data set and they give you a really good framework that makes it easy to start to build these applications. Uh, you know, the cost for a, you know, a single camera can be $20,000. Whereas a traditional machine vision camera can be as low as $500. What type of AI do we need to make it uh, viable uh, to achieve economic benefits in, in, this, uh, in this area? Do we need what we have already or do we need more than what we have? I think that if you can take you know, the existing abilities and make them more accessible, uh, that's a definitely a step in the right direction. Like when somebody, when somebody wants a robotic system deployed in a bakery, typically they go through a robotics integrator. And uh, if the integrator has access to a good AI framework and a system that they can deploy in a matter of weeks without having to build these systems from scratch, then those, you know, those savings can be passed on to the customer. For example, if you've had success with very low cost machine vision cameras and you can get the job done that way for a specific situation that'll work for 90% of the application, you're, you're probably not gonna be trying to leverage, leverage uh, artificial intelligence if you can get it done the traditional way. But if we can add that value of artificial intelligence and make it easier to use for the people that are actually putting the robots into the facility, um, that's, that's kind of where the, the improvement could come from.